Hello everyone and welcome to Minecraft. Uh, this is a one-off video I'm doing, just a recording, not a stream, to uh, show off my creation I've done in Minecraft on a friend server. I don't think I'm ever going to actually stream Minecraft. It has something this long form is definitely going to conflict with everything else I do on my uh, Twitch channel, but uh, I like to keep this with just friends and building crazy shit, so. Um, this started out as just like a cool mountain that was really tall next to a village. I thought, hey, this would be a nice cool base uh, to create. And then there was some lava coming out of it. So I'm like, yeah, this, this might be a good thing to make something like a skull mountain out of He-Man. No, like 2003 He-Man. And then it, it trans... It, as I continue, the um, idea has changed a bit. Changed a lot, actually. E and uh, the cool thing about this, the accomplishment, is I built the tower to the limit. Um, or lighthouse, I should say, because this is definitely Golden Sun inspired. So even if I go far out, that's as much as I'll be able to see that platform up there and rather that staircase. And you can't even see that it's the big diamond crystal up top. And then that's like supposed to be a staircase that spirals around it. So that's how tall it is. Mine Minecraft doesn't want to load that much. So this took over, of course, a couple months to build. Not not straight, but you know, still. And there's always incidents. Yeah, fuck OSHA. I still haven't cleared out the monsters in the walls. Yep, yeah, bad jokes. <laughs> so this is my base, uh, my little home. Got my bed here, got all my chests, furnace area, spell book area, uh, stones, sugar. What was it sugar? I forgot. I think it's sugar. Yeah, here's my bamboo uh, farm machine mechanism. This also goes out to the dock in my back. Uh, there isn't a whole lot that's actually inside the mountain itself. It's just a lot of, uh... Poured out tunnels and... Caves, I guess. Yeah, we'll take the quick way. Ow. Oh, and also, uh, I'm not going to show it here, but it goes all the way down to the bedrock layer, down to the bottom. So, this is the base of the tower. At the top of the mountain. Yeah, you could actually see the top from here. Well, mostly. Because it's, you know, that last platform. But I did make it all the way up to, uh... 320? I want to say. I think that's actually a really cool shot. Uh, let's have to do this. I 
And another reason I'm doing this video is because it is on a friend server. Um, it's on a third party server and they're going to change to uh, 1.19 soon. So, yeah, this is this is going to get nuked and I didn't want to um, have all my efforts just lost. So I wanted to make this video to uh, at least capture it and so I could remember it. So here's the beacon, uh, the base of the beacon. You're gonna see these uh, four colors a lot. There's again, golden sun. Here's a nice bedroom I made. I don't have to go all the way back down if I needed to rest because there was a lot of building at night when things aren't weren't exactly lit prop well, so enemies would come and attack me. I'd fall off like that because I'm definitely not the best player and I'd die. So on this uh, floor. Uh, this is just a balcony area. And the stove still exists from when I was building it. So we're already like pretty high up. Um, I wish we could see it now. But the clouds would actually move. Uh, through the bedroom. Into these layers. Not layers, what am I thinking? Um... Floors, I guess, elevation. They would actually move through the uh, the stone platforms and the stone platforms and walls, which is really cool. So we changed from light brick to darker bricks. For some reason, I kind of got like a quake vibe from when I was doing this, but probably not really quake though. So, in, in Golden Sun, if no one has played Golden Sun, which everybody should, because it's a, an amazing RPG, uh, lighthouses are uh, these towers that seal alchemy. They're extremely important to the story, and uh, there's four of them for each element. And there's uh, both games culminate with them. At the end of them and they all fight you have to fight big giant boss at the uh, end of it there's always like a nice big glowing orb up there too once the light once the lighthouse is activated so that's where i was uh going for and in the second game the final lighthouse is the fire lighthouse or the mercury no mars uh lighthouse because they use planets and being the final one they had um designs from each of the other lighthouses in it. So here's another balcony layer. I have the lightning rod, so there's a bit of decoration. And I have the lightnings here. So this is, um... So as you can see, the... Immediately, the beacon changed color again because the green was meant to represent Earth slash. Uh, what is it? In Golden Sun? Why am I forgetting this? Uh, Venus. Yes, Venus. And now that it's changed to blue, it's a Mercury light. And like, again, like the uh, Mars lighthouse. Uh, we got a tree symbol here to represent Venus and Earth. We got, I was trying to make a, a dragon or a serpent out of uh, this, which represents Mars and fire. There's a fish uh, slash whale for Mercury. Oh, excuse me. And finally, a, um, a bird to represent Jupiter slash wind. And the... 
And this is also another cool thing, being up so high in the game, is that you can actually see both um, sun and moon at the same time. You get this nice uh, twilight. Which we might have to go down to the bottom to uh, go back down to the uh, bedroom. Because I don't think I actually uh, finished up the top part. <laughs> but this is the uh, top of the tower, the or the lighthouse, and the base of the crystal. It was going to be a giant orb. But I messed it up. <laughs> and decided to go just go with the crystal. Because try glowstone mining is a real pain. And see the uh, beacon turned purple for Jupiter. And before we go any further, we will head back down real fast. One more floor for the bed. And now back up. I don't know when that where that's coming from. There shouldn't be any monsters up here. And so we're back up to uh, this part, the base of it. You know, Jup the uh, Jupiter beam got the shaft a bit because you rarely see it. Now this begins the long trek up. I mean, you could kind of see it inside the crystal. Oh, I probably should have said at this point, this is survival mode. Um, so yeah, I died a lot. So of course, at the top, I shifted it to red. The beacon to red. And I got created this cool ladder structure behind uh, or underneath the top area. Yeah, we could see the moon from all the way up here. And this is it. This is the uh, top floor. Um, I don't remember if I had any more design choices for this or ideas. But uh, this is it. Ah, there were some mobs that spawned up here. Yeah, because I, I didn't like put like... Uh, Torches or anything up here, but this gets real real pretty when it does actually snow Oh, uh, let's see here. This is where's F? I think it's F3. Yeah uh, We are at uh, Yeah, we are at 320. This is the very top It will not allow me to build Yep
Oh, this is the top of the world. And if this was Golden Sun, this is where the actual, like, the Orb of Light will be. Uh, this is where you'll fight, like, a giant, um, not a giant boss, but the significant boss fight up here. Only half of them have, like, giant bosses, which is only two. Uh, so real fast, uh, this is going to be, like, shoehorned in. Uh, this is actually really cool at night, so I probably should have included that in the original cut. Anyway. F5, yep. There does seem to be some light sources here, so I'm not sure. Um, how the enemy is going to spawn, but that might just be from these torches. It'd be really cool if the game snowed, because that that's actually pretty epic. But I'll go I'll go down and uh we'll view the lattice. From below. I think we got down far enough. The monsters did spawn and... At least we got some music. Okay, time, time to kill. You're gonna get some combat this recording. Not as epic as, like, a uh, <laughs> Golden Sun final boss, but... Well, uh, there you have it. Uh, this is where I'm gonna and I'll just have to cut off the last dungeon and put this on top of it. Take some photos for myself. Is the the sad thing is that like once once this goes, once that server goes, all this hard work, all this dedication kind of get flushes right down the drain. Excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, I, I'm, I was really hoping it would snow. But you can still see, like, the desolation up here. Mm. 
do... Can I even see, like, the rest of the world? Uh, you can see parts of the tower and the mountain, but that's it. You don't even see the land. You, the, you see the moon, but not, not the land. I should be covering it. Oh, not the moon, the, uh, the sun. Which is kind of wild. But that's Minecraft for you. And I think that will be Minecraft for me. I'm not going to wait here uh, potentially hours for s w snow to come up or not. So anyway, um, be sure to uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. Um, I would like to say uh, comment if you want to see more Minecraft content, but honestly, it's not something I can really fit into my streaming schedule. There's all the other games I would like to stream, and... There's so much Minecraft out there, I, I can't do anything really special. Outside of maybe a couple cool builds, and... That's probably about it, to be honest. Uh, I, I grew up with Legos, so my Minecraft was kind of like... would Like, if I had Minecraft when I was a kid, I would not be able to, I would not leave the computer for, like, days. Um, but yeah, in the future, there will probably be some more Minecraft videos, but I can't really can't, like, guarantee them at any time because it's whenever I uh, play it with my friends. And if I ever have like the uh, drive and desire to, you know, build something crazy or if I have an interest in an idea to do, be um... Okay, yeah, you know, I started the fucking outro this and I, and I went on like a small tangent there. Sorry. All right. Anyway, for real now, uh, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. Uh, and I will catch you later. Uh, expect more Doom 3 and flashback, the quest for identity. Uh, have yourself a good night and a good weekend. I will catch you all later. Peace.